Again, forgive the mess on my desk, but it's just something that I'm learning to live with here. <laughs> um, I just wanted to show you guys this um, problem that can happen. If you're running a on-screen display, uh, in particular like a Minim OSD, and you're in base flight and you're trying to uh, check on your receiver, or if you're having some weird communication problems, uh, this usually happens because the uh, Minim OSD is hooked up. So you need to make sure that you unplug that so that you get good communication. Here's an example of what can happen. Right now it just is waiting for data and base flight's pretty much unresponsive. Uh, I need to actually unplug my Minim OSD in order to make this work. Anyway, as soon as I unplug that, I got all of my stuff back. So keep that in mind if you're having some weird connectivity issues. And here's a better view of my Minim OSD on this quad. Um, make sure that you can easily unplug it uh, because it's on the same serial port as the USB that connects into your NAS32 and it causes a bunch of communication problems um, if it's plugged in it, so it's good to just disconnect that thing uh, anytime you're doing any programming um, and I've actually got this cool connector that I built and I've started just making my connectors like this Let's see if I can focus on that um, it's just a pin header that sticks right into the uh, into the board and let's see here's a better angle of it but it's just uh, you know a much better way to do it um, because you tend to get like if you use a servo lead and you're plugging that thing in and unplugging it I seem to always have wires break right at that connector and especially with um, with the minimum OSD board because there's really no way to hold it down uh, none of these boards have any sort of uh, mounting holes or anything and so they tend to vibrate more than other components on the quad while you're flying which can also lead to fatigue in your wires which is no bueno so if you're having NAS32 connectivity problems it's because you need to um, unplug your Minim OSD and I'm going to plug this back in now and I will let you watch to see what happens. So we're plugged in and now if I go to my PID ta tuning tab I just see the waiting for data again. I can't click on receiver so it's just kind of hijacking the serial port for the USB and if I unplug it, I'm unplugging it down here Voila. All right, so I hope that helps. And check out the site, quadquestions.com. Thanks.